basketball. And the Lakers all decked out as they made their way off the bus and into the arena earlier on. And the game arrival sponsored by Express. Dress like a pro. The bronze likeness of Lakers great Magic Johnson that can be found just outside the front door of our location today. The Staples Center. Big game three of the Western Conference semifinals getting going right now. Thanks for tuning in. 2K Sports presents the NBA. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. Green and Rondo in the backcourt. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. And it's James in at small forward. And for the Clippers, the two stars, George and Leonard, fill up the forward slots. Beverly and Williams, the guard tandem. And Harrell's in at the five. Here we go. Tip-off goes to the Clippers. George against LeBron. Harrell, the pass to Leonard. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. You know, when he was in high school in California, Kawhi won the state's Mr. Basketball Award. And you look at the list of guys who've won that award over the years. It has a lot of the all-time greats on it. And the first one at the line is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. LeBron James on the wing, defended by George. The shot's good from Kuzma. You know, body him up all you want. It doesn't bother Kyle Kuzma. He's got great competitive spirit and skill. Bounce pass from Beverly. Puts it up from 17. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. Kuzma finds Rondo. Pass to Davis. Shoots over Leonard. And there's Davis. That's good on the assist by Rondo. As dangerous as he is inside, Davis gives opponents nightmares when he's able to get to the mid-range. He's very reliable when he steps back and takes the jump shot. Rondo against Beverly. Kuzma outside. Here's Davis. The rebound by Paul George. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Williams, that's a two-pointer. Cans the shot from the wing. Lost the defender there, Kevin, or at least got him off balance, and that's just as good as losing. Terrific hand. Outside, Davis. The try by James, and no good. Excellent D there from George. Beyond the arc, they get the rebound. And Beverly kicks to Williams. Five on the clock. Here's Leonard. The step back jumper is good. Kick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tough for defense. Loots it up for Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. Yeah, Rondo just knows how to wheel and deal. It has that exceptional feel for when one of his guys is open. Harold dishes to Leonard. Passes it to Beverly. Now the pass to Leonard. Great D that time from LeBron. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. Excellent D there from George. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this boy. Damn. Got that bucket in in no time at all. You know, because James is such a consistent, confident shooter from the mid-range, you, you just can't afford to let him get comfortable. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. 
trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Substitution here for the Clippers. Zubats is checked in for Montrez Hill. Jermichael Green comes in for Kawhi Leonard. Landry Shamit's checked in for Lou Williams. And it's Livingston in for Patrick Beverly. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Demarcus Cousins, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. JaVale McGee comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And Tavius Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for LeBron. And it's Avery Bradley in for Danny Green. And now here's Rondo. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And it's Paul George with the five. That's his first five. One fifty-seven left to play here in the first. To the middle. Here's Rondo. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. And although not the biggest guy, you got to love how Rondo uses his body inside. Has a great touch as well around the rim. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Lakers. Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this Shoot first two. half. They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. And the first one drops. Second free throw, no good. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Lakers. It's a three-point game. Pass to Cousins. George against Caldwell Pope. Pocket six. A pointer. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. His first shot coming late. And again, it's the Clippers missing. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Ball's not loose. It's stolen by Livingston. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Avery Bradley. You know, one of the things Paul George PG has done is improve his ball handling, and as a result, defenders are nervous when he's handling the ball and getting up into a shot. The Clippers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And you know, the versatile George does so many things well. High octane player who I think gives you intensity at both ends of the court. And both free throws good for Paul George. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Play. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. The 
This one for three. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Lakers lead by five. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Paul George had that nasty broken leg back in 2014. He describes what inspired him to come back even stronger. My inspiration really came from my mother. You know, her dealing with stroke, her dealing with really being down and out. You know, I saw her fight back. That was enough for me. In my darkest days, uh, I knew it was nothing to what my mom went through, and she came out perfectly fine, so... Well, what a story. George worked hard to get back and is not disappointed in his return. You know, recovering from a devastating injury is never easy, but George's perspective and commitment helped him to overcome it. And we return again with more playoff action from the Western Conference Semifinal. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? You got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Setting the floor for the Clippers. Janet and George at the two and the three. Michael Green is out there with the Vitsa Zuba. And it's Livingston in at the point. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. Leonard, he's checked in for Paul George. And the Lakers also making a change. James is checked in. Shamit gets the 14 foot of the fall. Lakers leading by five. deciding where to go with it. And LeBron gets it to go with the assist by McGee. LeBron's got his second bucket tonight. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Offensive rebound. And it's Bradley with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Only giving up two points this quarter. Cousins, the pass to James. That shot, no good. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. They lost their last game on Tuesday. Hey, they, they had their opportunities, but let's face it, they choked from the line. Hard to win that way on the road. Hey, knocking down free throws in a hostile environment is really about the battle of the mind. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. Checked in for Zubox. Williams comes in for Landry Shamit. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Sean Livingston. The Lakers also making some changes. Davis is checked in for Cousins. Kyle Kuzma comes in for JaVale McGee. And it's Green in for Avery Bradley. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Now here's Williams. Over Green. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Williams. Well, I tell you, Kevin, a high number of Williams points come from the mid-range. The defense knows that. It's in the scouting report, but he still makes it happen. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Lakers shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game.
first one falls for. You talk about LeBron James, he does it all. Defends, scores, rebounds, passes, high IQ, unselfish, a leader off the court as well as on. And so he's able to get one of two. Clippers trail by six. Pass to Green. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. Caldwell Pope against Leonard. Caldwell Pope has to James. And James throws it down hard. Nothing out of the ordinary there for LeBron. I mean, insane athleticism. Clippers have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. Williams passes to Leonard. From about 16, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. They get it again. And that one's good by LeBron. James has got the lead up to eight now for the Lakers. Oh, I tell you, LeBron is so time active out, and out. aggressive and so strong. I love watching him go after rebounds right. like this. And the Clippers call time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. George has checked in for Jermichael Green. Ajahn Rondo has checked in for the Lakers. Rondo against Beverly. He kicks it to Harrell. Williams passes to Harrell. Back to Williams. Just five on the clock. From deep, George. And it's good assisting on the play was Williams. George has got five points so far. And that kind of awareness from George is really exceptional. Catching the defense flat-footed by rising up immediately on the catch. James. Great D on that shot, and it's off the mark. To the inside. Count it, and the Laker lead has been cut to just three points on the basket from Williams. That was big, because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Sometimes, for whatever reason, a lot of times you, you don't know why. It takes a little while to work the notch out, but it looks like they're putting it together right now. Here's Beverly following the basket by LeBron James. Floats one. Here's Harrell, and Davis sends it back. Boy, I tell you what, Davis uses his length so well. I mean, a defensive stalwart who holds his ground, and because of his timing and length and athleticism, he's an excellent shot blocker. Now Harrell following the miss by Kyle Kuzma from deep. Nobody near Leonard. No good on the triple. Kuzma outside. Over Beverly. And that one hits back iron. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot. LeBron, are you getting the ball where you want to get it, and is that helping you score? Um, I'm very pleased with my individual performance right now, but uh, you know, not so pleased with it. You know how I'm trying to you know help our teammates. You know I'm, I got to do a better job of trying to get our teammates in the flow as well as keep myself in a good groove too. So um, hopefully I can do a better job of that in the second half. We'll see how it goes. Thanks, LeBron. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. 
We're reporting to you live here in the sold out arena. Ernie Johnson, Kenny and Jeff Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Taking a look at the Lakers, they have taken care of business in the first two games, but they got a fight on their hands tonight. They're not going to be able to just cruise to a 3 0 lead in this series. It's going to take some effort in the second half. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. More often than not, Ernie, LeBron tries to involve his teammates early. But he came in ready to shoulder the load tonight. Terrific all-around performance in the first half. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Clippers? Well, their poor rebounding is really hurting. It hasn't killed them on the scoreboard yet, but they need to pick it up. It's the game they can win. If they come out hustling in the second half, they can win. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And we're back with you, all set to bring you more action from Game 3. You look at James, what a contribution. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up, be physical with him. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Checking out the group of Frank Vogel to start the second half. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. And it's Rondo in at the point. And here's Leonard following the three-pointer by Anthony Davis. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Rondo against Williams, and James throws it down. LeBron James throwing it down is a thing of beauty. An incredible athlete who makes Duncan look as easy as it can look. Now here's Williams. He has six. Here's Leonard. Kuzma pulls it in. Certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end, and it's had a ripple effect on the team. Here's LeBron. Shoots over Leonard. Moves back up. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. There's the foul against the Clippers. Already a skilled interior player. At times, when Kuzma is close to the basket, you have no choice but to foul him. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. He's off on the first. You know, some folks were saying Kuzma wouldn't even get drafted a few years ago. That's why this draft stuff is more art than science sometimes. But he has proven his doubters wrong very quickly. And the Clippers making a change here. Zubats is checked in. And the Lakers also making a change. DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for Davis. And the second free throw, good. Clippers trail by 11. Feeds to Williams. Pass to Zubats. Williams against Green. Shot clock at five. Softly drops in the fourth. Eight points for Williams. Can score in so many ways, Kevin. Sweet loop. The floater. That's like a walk in the park shot for him. Hope they get it back. Kuzma kicks to James. And the Lakers get it back. And Cousins throws it down. He is just a monster on the boards. And with those soft hands Cousins has, he's going to turn those offensive rebounds into putbacks almost every time. Man, wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hander. Now here's James. He's got 13. Green up on top. Here's Cousins. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Cousins has got four points this quarter. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. And the Clippers call time here. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. 
and he's just attacking the rim with force here. They need to try and deny him the ball in the paint to keep him away from the basket. checked in for Montrez Harrell. Landry Shamit comes in for Lou Williams. And it's Livingston in for Patrick Beverly. The Lakers also making some changes. JaVale McGee's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Caldwell Pope comes in for James. And it's Avery Bradley in for Danny Green. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Zubats kicks to Livingston. Cousins against Zubats. He's off from 17 feet. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. And Jermichael Green picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the Clippers making a switch here. Williams is checked in. Here's Rondo. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Caldwell Pope outside. And the Lakers with another miss. And it's Williams with the ball for the Los Angeles Clippers. There's the pass to George. Over Bradley. They get it back. Great positioning on the putback. Zubats has got it back down to single digits for the Clippers. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets always the result of that extra effort. Andro bounce pass. Here's McGee. That one, no good. Great T that time from Green. And George, here we go. And it's George finishing it off. Look at how high George gets off these drives to the hoop. Banging it down with the violence of a madman. Now here's Rondo. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. That's on Lou Williams. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Shoot the Lakers. Two. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. And also, guys, they take a lot of pride in their ability to rebound the basketball, especially on the offensive end. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for the Clippers. The Lakers also making some changes. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Cousins. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Caldwell Pope, and it's Green in for Avery Bradley. And so Rondo hits both free throws. And when engaged, Rondo is special. A, a triple-double threat who does a little bit of everything for his squad. There's 53 seconds left to play here in the third. Six to shoot. Looking to end its cold spell. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist by Green. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive play. Rondo gets to Green. Inside. Here's Davis. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Davis has got five points in the quarter. And, you know, got to admire the patience inside from Davis. Outstanding at staying under control, taking his time, and burying the quality shot. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Oats it up for Davis. And he uses the glass on the layup. Davis has got the lead up to 11 now for the Lakers. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. 
you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. So we get going in quarter number four. And they're down low at four with Harrell in the middle. Beverly and Williams, the guard tandem. And it's Shamit in at the small forward position. That's who's out there for the Clippers. That free throw good from Leonard. So it's the Lakers now. Now Rondo. Paul George grabs the miss. George has got his fourth rebound in this one. Beverly, the pass to Leonard. Got a piece of it. Upping his intensity on the defensive end. Love to see that. Kuzma uses his length and athleticism to challenge and offer shots. Now here's James. Kuzma can't get it to go. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. Got a piece of it. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. Clippers trail by six. George looking around and right on target with the swish. Yeah, nice vision that time displayed by George off the screen and roll. And the Lakers call time here. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. sideline let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge thanks guys I was able to hear Frank Vogel talk to his team during the break he's encouraged where they are at this point in the game but he told his guys things can turn in a blink what we need to do is execute the rest of the way so we'll see if they can finish this one off Kevin thank you David and the Clippers call time here look at LeBron James he's really been playing well he continues to burn them with his scoring. And the coaching staff's going to have to come up with a different approach defensively.
first minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Williams kicks to Beverly. Now here's Leonard. He dishes it to George. Pass to Williams. Pocket four. Two points. That one goes. And they've worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks from midrange. Well, it's interesting. The defense continues to back off, expecting them to attack the rack. They just continue to pull up and knock down those mid-range jumps. Two minutes into the fourth quarter now. James. Well, the quickness of Paul George on defense is something that very few players possess. I think he does a fantastic job rushing guys because of his presence. Shooting two. The first one falls. And both free throws good for LeBron. Drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. And, and guys, I think it's exactly the right thing to do with the lead. Keep going at defenders and find a way to get yourself to the line. That one's in there. The Lakers' lead is cut down now to just five in the bucket from Leonard. The Lakers have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. LeBron passes to Kuzma. Now here is Davis. Back to Green. Six on the shot clock. Over George. It's Green missing. And so Beverly will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Pass to Harrell on the wing, Williams. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Leonard finds Harrell. Williams outside. The rebound by the Lakers. Green left side. Passes to Kuzma. Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists tonight. Boy, that's exactly the kind of strength Kuzma has to show, guys. I mean, take that contact, expect it, and still be able to convert. You've got to do that at this level. Lakers leading by seven. On the wing, James. Back to run. LeBron with it. Doesn't go for him. George with the defensive effort. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And that one's good, Leonard. And he's got the athleticism and strength to be a powerful presence inside. Leonard never afraid to get in and mix it up down low. And Davis can't get it to go. <laughs> and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. Now here's Green. Paul George unable to get his shot to go. And that one drops. And the Lakers lead by seven. That's a nice play there. Not going to miss many from there. Leonard, that's for two. And right on target. Good. Leonard's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Rondo against Beverly. And there's the three-second call. This one on the defense. Marcus Cousins, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. Timeout called the Lakers. They're up by six. 104 left in the fourth quarter. 
presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Anthony Davis. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp. And his touch from the field, flawless. The teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good positions. And boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running all those sets for him. 104 left in the fourth quarter. James, the bounce pass. Shot clock at six. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Kuzma can't get it to go. Now the Clippers with it. They trail by six. It falls! And now they trail by just four. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. 41 seconds left in the game. LeBron passes to Kuzma, and Kuzma slams it in. Kyle Kuzma showing you the killer instinct, which oftentimes is really special, showing you how valuable he is. And the Clippers call time here. They're behind by six. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? Uh, trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. Okay. They're going to draw up a play here, I think, to get a shot right off of the inbounds pass and not waste too much time at all. Five seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's Beverly. This is to Harold. Come! And now they trail by just four. And, and when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. And the Lakers call time here. They lead by four. 27 seconds left in the fourth. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they go to the intentional foul. Shoot two. Gets the first, and that puts them up by five. good in both at the line and it's a six-point ball game sensing an opportunity here to increase the lead and capitalizing on and the Clippers call time here they're trailing by six 26 seconds left here in the fourth quarter
26 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Williams trying to break free. It's in! And now they trail by just four. Yeah, and from mid-range, Leonard's jump shot is money. It doesn't matter if it's off the dribble or catch and shoot. He, he never loses his touch. That, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. And so both free throws are good, and it's a six-point ball game. 20 seconds left to play here in the fourth. The pass to Harrell. The three from George. Rondo with the rebound, and he commits the intentional foul. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. No good at the strike this time. The second miss is also. Beverly finds George. Nobody near Williams. No good with the triple. And so the Lakers take the win. You have to think at this point, up three zip. It's only a matter of time now, Greg, until this series is in the books. Uh, you know, this victory all but seals the deal. As strong as they look throughout this game and this series, I'll be shocked if they don't close it out in game four. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, LeBron. How did you guys maintain your focus during this game? I think it's just everything we've been through in the postseason. Uh, we've been down. We will stand rallies. And, uh, you know, the good thing about it, when they score, we didn't get our head down. We just got back on offense and started to execute. So it's a great team that we're going against. So we're going to need every effort, every play. And it's going to take all the way down to those zeros on that clock to get a win. You guys played every minute tonight to get the win. Thanks, LeBron. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, that'll do it, folks. Glad you could join us for the Western Conference semifinals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you later.